Okay. I got two of these. Put this on. You got a fat head. Adjust her down. Okay, so we are back. The project lawn, if you want to call it that. I got my guy here. This is his place, and we've got some crabgrass and spurge preventer right here. That's going to be the prodiamine, and then we've got a bag of humic acid here. So uh, last fall we put down what? Application of fertilizer and then this and humic, humic acid. Both. We have not done any fertilizer, and today is what? May the eighth or ninth? Eighth. Eighth. So it actually looks pretty decent, but we need to put the pre-emergent down and the uh, fertilizer. So go ahead, let's put it in there. Put it all in there. Okay, so the reason this stuff is yellow is because it's got the prodiamine in there. This is the crabgrass pre-emergent. The pre-emergent means you're trying to prevent the weeds before they come up, thus the meaning pre, before they emerge. So just go ahead and you open up the hopper there and just go ahead and spread it. And then try your best not to get, just not to dump it on the concrete. Yeah. And we'll blow it back in. Yeah. here last time or last fall a lot of people asked me is that that guy's house that thing's crazy big this is not his house this is like a bed and breakfast type outfit it sleeps like 80 people or something how many people can this hold max 80 in beds with 100 dog floors, kids. so he said that it can hold 80 in beds and then a hundred with kids on some floors and stuff like that so this is kind of like one of those places where people come for like, say, a family reunion and they rent out the whole place for like a million dollars a night and then they do their thing as the family. So that's what this place is. It's got a lighthouse and there's some water back here behind me. So it kind of has a little bit of an overlook. You can go up into that uh, turret up there and kind of look out overview. It's pretty sweet up there actually. So that fertilizer bag says it'll cover 10,000 feet. And I think he's short or shy of 10,000 feet a little bit, but we're going down heavy. And now we're gonna be putting down this humic acid. This is the stuff I've showed you before. This is the Live Earth product. Close the hopper. So this humic acid product looks like this, okay? Showed you this stuff before. It just kind of looks like kind of soft kind of dirt pellets so it's kind of easily broken up you can kind of roll it in your fingertips and it kind of is like a little bit kind of like charcoal breaks up easily and it's kind of like a, a black powder kind of stuff so I've been kind of switching for over from this granular product to more of the liquids I like the liquids because it's a little bit easier to spread and you don't have to wait for it to break down this is just like a carbon based material so it does take a little bit to break down but with the liquid stuff they kind of refine it and refine it and refine it and refine it and make it into like this thick liquid and you spray it down. The granulars are nice because it's easy to clean up. The sprayer stuff kind of works quicker. So the humic acid is also supposed to be good for like water retention and good for the soil to retain water better and for longer so people claim that if you use this stuff you'll water less i don't know if it's true or not but that's what they say i've been using it for quite a while and i personally haven't noticed a huge difference in the watering but i cut my grass kind of short as long as we keep mowing it as long as we keep watering it and as long as we keep fertilizing it feeding it it'll come along and in about two weeks, this lawn will look awesome. It already does look better than it did last fall. Right here, 
is where it was a little bit thin. And it still is a little bit thin, but with fertilizing it, mowing it regularly, it'll thicken up on its own. So this is the kind of stuff that's just really pissing them off, and this is the kind of stuff that I cannot handle as well. This is just like some thatchy material, just some nasty stuff. And that is particularly why I like to bag, because it kind of cleans up all this stuff and it vacuums it all up. So uh, a lot of people, I wouldn't say they're lazy, but they just don't like dealing with the clippings. Me, on the other hand, I'd rather have the lawn nice and clean looking and vacuum this kind of stuff up and uh, kind of get rid of it. He said that he raked this stuff up. But if you mow regularly and often, you don't necessarily need to bag because all the clippings will kind of just be shaved off because you're not cutting off a dramatic amount of clippings. So I'm going to get the blower out and kind of blow some of this fertilizer and humic acid off the concrete. Kind of got everywhere. My spreader does not have an edge guard that was broken when I got it. So yep. this stuff, the yellow stuff, does have to be watered in yeah. for it to work. Because yeah. basically, it goes down and it melts and yeah. creates that barrier. Yeah. So, so water it in if it does not rain. And then yeah. if it's not raining in the next week or two, water it good. Oh, I will. I'll continue. Water it really good and the fertilizer will take off. I just put my fertilizer down about a week ago yeah. and it made a big difference. Yeah. Cool. But just get your guy out here, whoever that is, to mow it regularly so get your butt out here and freaking mow it regularly so this place he's got is a sweet freaking place like i was saying it sleeps like 80 people and he's got this convention hall here behind the camera and they hold receptions here and kind of corporate events and stuff like that this place is more so like a retreat than say anything else so Would you look at that? Ugh. I've got an issue right there with my angle aluminum. That's not holding up too well. Gonna have to get that fixed before I do my spray applications, at least bend it up. So see the end of that string trimmer right there? No guard. Do not do that. Do not try this at home. So don't be taking my advice on anything I do. Because I'm a safety Sally, I like to follow all the rules when it comes to safety. And see, I've got my eye protection here. Yeah.